What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the best smartphones with a headphone jack for going into 2022. These are for my diehard uh, headphone users that really need a dedicated headphone jack. So first off, in my opinion, the best on the list is still the LG V60 coming at 300 bucks. Absolutely crazy for that price. You're getting a flagship phone and um, just a bunch of crazy specs. So we get a really nice build quality on here aluminum frame glass back ip68 dust and water resistant phone just feels like a tank we do have a headphone jack on here with a quad deck as well so if you have a high quality pair of headphones you can really get some awesome audio out of this phone you also have really amazing sounding stereo speakers as well too great bass good mids and highs extremely loud as well uh, it is a pretty big phone with a 6.8 inch p oled display it's hdr 10 plus 1080p 395 for the ppi overall just a beautiful display but it doesn't stop there you can actually for 100 bucks if you go on ebay get a dual screen case attachment to this phone and turn it into two phones if you are a power user running the snapdragon 865 and adreno 650 micro sd support 128 gigs of internal storage and 8 gigs of ram is on board with this guy we also have nfc under the display fingerprint scanner which is fine it's a little uh it's not the fastest but it's fine it works and uh, you also have a triple camera setup, a 64 megapixel standard, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 0.3 depth sensor, 8K video with a 10 megapixel selfie cam that also shoots in 4K. Overall, you get some pretty nice quality photos. To me, still flagship level photos uh, with the V60, so I really do like the cameras on here still. Also, video is pretty solid on the V60 as well. And you also get a really massive 5,000 milliamp battery with excellent standby time and overall just really great battery life. In addition to that, of course, you get fast charging and uh, wireless charging as well. So the V60 is definitely my favorite on this list. Now, next is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, an older flagship that is just awesome. It's really impressed me uh, this year. You can get this for around 300 even and uh, it does have a really nice design. So I still think this is a very classic design, aluminum frame glass bag ip68 dust and water resistant beautiful dynamic amoled display at 6.4 inches hdr 10 plus it's a full 1440p display or 2k display 522 for the ppi overall just a really beautiful uh, panel on here it does have the double punch hole which you can have a lot of fun with the wallpapers uh, this phone is upgradable to android 11 and it also will be getting android 12 as well the snapdragon 855 is on board with the adreno 640 guys this phone is still very powerful so it doesn't really matter what you're doing on this phone. It's still going to run very fast. It's going to be able to play games and max settings. Uh, it is still very impressive. So I really do love uh, the speed and performance on this phone. Micro SD support is on board. 128 gigs and 8 gigs of RAM on this uh, model here. And like I said, stereo speakers on board with this guy with a headphone jack. Um, now, it's not a quad deck, but the headphone jack is there. So it's just, it feels like one of the most complete Samsung phones that they've released. Uh, also, the speaker setup is also pretty good. Very loud, crisp and clear speakers tuned by AKG. Um, also, this phone does have NFC. It's also got it under the display fingerprint sensor, which works very fast. Samsung desktop support is on here. And you do have pretty decent cameras, a triple camera setup, 12 megapixel standard, 12 megapixel telephoto. With a 16 megapixel ultra wide, it does shoot in 4K 60, along with that double uh, dual camera setup, 10 megapixel standard, and then 8 megapixel wide, shoots in 4K 60 as well. Overall, you get some pretty decent shots with the S10 Plus, definitely not complaining at this price point. Uh, you also have a pretty decent sized battery, a 4100 milliamp battery. 15 watt charging with fast charging and reverse wireless charging as well, which is really cool. Um, battery life is pretty good on the S10 Plus. So overall, this is an awesome phone uh, to consider. Next is the Asus Zenfone 8. So this is a newer compact flagship phone. It'll cost you around 600 bucks. So it is a little bit expensive. I think around 650. I'll have all the links down below, but I really like this phone uh, this year. It's got an aluminum frame and it has a glass bag. It feels really solid. IP68 
dust and water resistant as well. It's got a beautiful 5.9 inch Super AMOLED display at 120 hertz, so you get that really smooth refresh rate. It's also a very bright display coming in at 1100 nits peak brightness. Uh, you do have a 1080p display, and then it's 446 for the PPI punch hole on the left hand side so overall it was a very nice display running android 11 with the zen ui with the snapdragon AAA processor and the adreno 660 pretty much a powerful phone when it comes to doing anything whether you're hardcore multitasking uh trying to game at max settings uh there's nothing that this phone won't be able to do so you're getting top tier flagship level performance on here there's no sd card support 128 gigs of internal storage and 8 gigs of ram this phone does have very amazing sounding stereo speakers as well. Excellent bass, especially for the size of this phone. It's actually kind of shocking. Uh, also, you do, of course, get the headphone jack, which was a really nice addition. Uh, they did not have to do that, but I'm really glad that they did. They do have NFC on this guy with the fingerprint scanner on the display. It is very fast. No issues there. Also, a pretty good camera setup. I uh, did not see the complaints with the cameras. I think after software updates, you really, you know, there's no complaints. I still think it takes great cameras for the price. 64 megapixel standard, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 8K video at 24 frames, which is crazy. And then a 12 megapixel standard that shoots in 4K 30. Uh, overall image quality, like I said, was pretty good to me. Uh, you also have a 4,000 milliamp battery with 30 watt charging and reverse charging. So the battery life on here is really not that great, um, which I was expecting, but it does charge pretty fast with the 30 watts. But your battery life is like four hours and 30 minutes, so it's not that great. I think it has a lot to do with the high refresh rate and the battery being so small, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but still, nonetheless, a great phone. All right, next is the Asus Zen Phone 9. Now, this is a phone that I really, really love. I actually think it's one of the best compact phones you can get this year. I absolutely love the design on here. It does have a plastic back, but it is textured. It has an aluminum frame, and it still feels premium as well, too. It's IP68 dust and water resistant on here. You have the Super AMOLED 120Hz display. It's HDR10+, 1100 nits peak brightness at 5.9 inch display. It is 1080p 445 for the PPI. So overall, the display is really nice, high quality, and also 120 hertz, silky smooth. And like I said, it's very easy to one hand with this phone. Uh, you do have Android 12 with the Zen UI, which basically it's kind of close to stock Android. Asus throws in a couple of things in there, but you would actually, um, you know, see that it's really similar to, you know, the stock uh, Pixel launcher. Uh, so you do have on here the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus chip. And it's a really, really fast phone as far as just bouncing in and out of applications, animations, gaming performance is going to be top notch on here. Uh, so anything that I threw at this phone, it was uh, doing a really good job with. Now, you also have 128 gigs of internal storage, 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. There is a version that has 16 gigs as well, too. And this phone does have a headphone jack, of course. Stereo speakers are on here. They actually sound amazing. Very, very loud and very, very good bass on these speakers as well. The fingerprint scanner is side mounted, which I think is absolutely awesome on this guy. And then you also have on this phone really good camera setup so it's a 50 megapixel standard in a 12 megapixel ultra wide it can shoot an ak24 with a 12 megapixel selfie that shoots in 4k 30. Uh, so overall the image quality on here is flagship level quality photos um yeah it is missing like a telephoto lens and stuff like that uh, but honestly I think uh, the the shots that you get on here are really nice good dynamic range the ultra wide is really good very high resolution um, you know photos and videos so I do think the cameras are pretty sweet on the Zen Phone 9 uh, also this phone now this will probably surprise you but this phone actually has pretty good battery life it has a 4300 milliamp battery with 30 watt charging and 5 watt uh, reverse wire charging um, so this that phone's battery life is crazy good for the size of this phone. Standby time is excellent. Screen on time easily gets all day. I would argue a day and a half. Uh, you'll be actually pretty impressed with the battery life. So for a small phone, that's extremely impressive. Last is the Asus ROG Phone 6. Now this phone is still a little bit expensive. 
uh, typically training for around like eight hundred to nine hundred dollars. Uh, but it's a gaming phone, and for all gamers, it's well worth the buy. Uh, so it has a glass back, aluminum frame. It's IPX4 water resistant. It has the illuminated RGB logo on the back, which is just super sweet for you know anybody's gaming setup. It has the pressure sensitive zones with the gaming triggers, and uh, it does have a six point seven inch AMOLED display. It is one hundred sixty five hertz HDR ten plus, and then it gets up to twelve hundred nits peak brightness. There is actually no notch or anything on this phone which is pretty sweet as well too it's 1080p 395 for the ppi very impressive uh display here and, you, and like i said no notch no punch hole that's something that a lot of people will really like it does run android 12 with the snapdragon 8 gen 1 plus chip you also have 128 gigs of internal storage 8 or 12 gigs of ram it does go up to 512 16 gigs of ram and then you also have on here, of course, the headphone jack with stereo speakers, two dedicated amplifiers, and they sound absolutely amazing. So excellent, excellent quality speakers on here um, as well. It also comes with the fingerprint scanner on the display. And then you also have a somewhat decent camera setup, 50 megapixel standard, 13 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro with 8K24, and then a 12 megapixel selfie cam on here that's using 1080p. Uh, from what I've seen, you get some pretty decent photos. Again, it's not like a dedicated uh, camera phone. That's not what it's aiming to do best at, but it will take pretty good pictures and good lighting. Now, what's most impressive about this phone is this phone has pretty much some of the best battery life uh, that's been rated. Um, you know from tech reviewers and stuff like that so 6,000 milliamp battery crazy charging speeds at 65 watts and then you have 10 watt reverse wire charging uh, this phone not only does it charge very fast but it just has excellent battery life so if you're doing a long gaming session this phone will be really awesome for that it stays relatively cool from what I've seen as well too so you can game on this and then just the overall style of the phone is just really sweet to look at so that's pretty much it guys be sure to let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one